If everybody's ready, I'm going to get going. It's such a uh, small, intimate group that we're going to get a chance to share where we're from and everything else. Um, but I'll start off by introducing myself. My name is Brad Seaman. I think I know everyone on the call. And if I haven't met you personally, uh, in person or via Zoom, uh, or even on the phone call, please reach out. I'd love to connect with you. I'm going to be your honorary chapter president. We'll call this a chapter, National Agent Network, uh, where we uh, get together, network uh, once a month, and uh, share ideas, bring education to the table, and hopefully walk away passing some business amongst each other. Um, I do want to uh, share that we're going to have a special guest today, and I'll introduce her here in a few minutes, uh, sharing some education about referrals and how to find the right BNI partners, and also how to go deeper with us uh, here in the, this national agent network. So we'll do a couple exercises, have some fun, and, uh, and get to know each other a little bit better in some breakout rooms. Um, so uh, what's the philosophy of BNI? BNI's philosophy is? Givers gain. Givers gain. Givers gain. If I give business to the members of my chapter, in return, they will want to give business to me. Um, at the end, just like a BNI meeting, I'm going to be asking you if you have any business uh, referrals, if you have an agent to agent referral you'd like to pass, if you have a testimonial, thank you for closed business. Some of you have gotten to know each other well, so be prepared with that. And I'm, uh, I'm going to start off, if I can, with allowing everybody to give a quick 45 second commercial uh, where they're from, and a quick statement about what kind of business that they're looking for. And Jose Fernandez, who has been my gracious helper through all of these networking events uh, from Miami, he's going to call you all out and, and get you going on that 45-second commercial. Go ahead, Jose. Perfect. So I'll ask you if you guys all can raise your digital hand. It's going to make things easier for me so I can call you guys. So everyone just raise your digital hand right now. And let's go to Jacksonville. Eileen, we'll start with you. Okay, great. Um, Eileen McVeigh, and I'm in the Jacksonville, Florida area. We service um, the beaches, Ponte Vedra Beach, Jacksonville Beach, Neptune Beach. Um, a good referral for me would be someone um, who is moving here. We are having a lot of companies that are relocating to Jacksonville. There's a company, Miami um, FinTech. Um, also, we have um, the um, Dun and Bradstreet moving from New Jersey. So um, anybody who's interested in um, being a part of the sports and healthcare and the beaches, send them my way. Awesome. Thank you, Aileen. Mr. Sam Eckerson from Orlando. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sam Eckerson, Keller Williams in Orlando, Florida. Uh, my specific ask is that person that you know who works at Disney in California and it's part of the transition to Lake Nona. Lake Nona is a suburb of Orlando. Um, and so a lot of their headquarters are coming out here. And my office is literally in Lake Nona. So where they're moving the headquarters to is where our Keller Williams office is at. So a good referral for me is that person that you know that is looking to relocate with Disney over to Orlando. That would be a great referral. Sam Eckerson, Keller Williams Realty. Thank you, Sam. Jamie, Coral Springs, Colorado Springs. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? All right, uh, great seeing everybody. Jamie Krakowski, Colorado Springs. Um, we are always looking for military folks coming in and out of the area. Um, we are a huge military base uh, area with five military bases, about 50,000 troops here in the area. So if you know anybody that is moving around right now with Space Force, um, that is a great referral for me. There are a ton of Space Force people coming to the Peterson uh, area right now, that in the Air Force Academy. So any military folks, that would be a phenomenal referral for me. Great to see everybody and always glad to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Jamie. Hey, so Dan Edwards. Hi there, uh, Dan Edwards with the Eastside Real Estate team now. Most of the people on this call are east of where I'm at, which is in <laughs> Seattle, Washington. But when you take Lake Washington, there's this huge lake in the middle of Seattle. And when you go east of that, you get Facebook, you get Google, you get Boeing. All of these are major companies uh, that we have people coming here from all around the world, quite frankly. So uh, who do you know uh, that is relocating to come to work in the Pacific Northwest? 
uh, there's an incredible boom going on here and we're um, fighting tooth and nail to get our offers accepted, but we're doing it. So if you know somebody who's looking to buy out here, uh, give me a call. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Judy Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Hi, Judy Trimble um, in the Boise, Idaho area. I'm with REMAX Executives. I'm also a CRS and a Buffini member. Um, so I work in the Boise area. There's so many towns and we actually can get around quite quickly to the different various towns. So I've actually received several calls from BNI members about Idaho and, ha and I've referred them to other areas. So I'm very well connected. If you have anyone looking to move into this area, um, I'm happy to help them if I'm not the right person to be able to service their clients. So Judy Trimble. Thank you, Judy. Don Wilson. Hi, I'm Dawn Wilson. I work in the D.C. metro area, so Northern Virginia, all of D.C. and parts of Maryland, uh, and I work at a variety of price points. So I have anything from condos at $300,000 all the way up to multi-million dollar single family homes. Um, I do have a number of clients that are have bought second home properties on the waterfront, so we waterfront property is about an hour away from us uh, in the Annapolis area and the areas nearby. And if you know anybody who is in the Virginia, DC, Maryland area and thinking of selling, uh, I would love an introduction. I've been with the Arlington referral team BNI chapter for about 16 years um, and I'm a founding member. So thank you so much. Thank you, Don. Laura in California. Good morning, my name is Laura Eklund with Realty One Group Complete. And I know people are thinking California or many people moving this way, believe it or not, I do have people moving into California. So if you know anyone that's moving in or moving out, I would love to assist them. Um, also anyone that is in the Bay Area, that's a good Thank you, Laura. Nicole in Las Vegas. Hi, I'm Nicole Moreau in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, a great referral for me would be anyone that's looking to buy um, a second home in Las Vegas, or uh, if you know someone that has a second home that wants to sell in Las Vegas. A lot of my BNI referrals from out of state have been people that have um, inherited homes and that passed away that are in Las Vegas. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Team Underline. Hello, Tim Vanderlaan, Keller Williams, uh, Northeast Ohio, uh, with the Elevate uh, Market Center. Um, I apologize for no video, but I'm on my way to an appointment. So um, I am looking for investors. Uh, we are seeing a, a real boom here in the Cleveland market. Um, and uh, also the Cleveland, including the Akron, Ohio area. So any of you that have investors that are looking for a uh, long-term investment or flips, uh, we are ready to serve. Tim Vanderlaan, Keller Williams. Thank you, Tim. James T. Monarch Beach. Tim Scarcelli, Scarcelli Real Estate Group, fabulous Monarch Beach on the Southern California Riviera. We're one hour south of Los Angeles, one hour north of San Diego. Uh, we have many people moving here for the weather, obviously. Uh, we deal with luxury coastal homes from about 1.5 million to 10 million. Uh, we're surrounded by four resorts, the Waldorf Astoria, the Ritz Carlton, the Montage, and the uh, Marriott Laguna Cliffs. So if you know anybody interested in Southern California, please let me know. Thanks, James. Uh, 13 years with BNI, uh, BNI and Brian Buffini Group. Thank you so much, James. Michelle Hoagland. Hi, I'm Michelle Hoagland. Um, I'm out of the Minneapolis St. Paul. I'm actually in the southern suburbs of the Twin Cities in Minnesota. Um, and uh, we have, of course, a lot of um, big companies that so people do re relocate here, um, even though we're cold. Um, we do have re relocations for Target, um, Medtronic, 3M, 
um, Mayo Clinic. Um, so there, there's just a few of those. We do have a lot of the um, medical industry up this direction. So uh, always potential people there. And then I, of course, have opportunities for people doing snowbird um, moving during the during the winter time. And so I do uh, come across quite a few people who are looking for second homes in some of those warm states. So uh, potential re real estate or you know, referral opportunities. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Fred Habazi. You're muted, Fred. You're muted. No sign. You're muted. Okay. You're still muted. He's technically not muted. It looks like his mic's not working. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brad Seaman, uh, we'll come back to you, Fred. Check on, check on your son. Good morning or afternoon, uh, BNI. I'm Brad Seaman with the Seaman team and uh, Keller Williams in sunny San Diego. Um, my ask is a little bit different. San Diego is great. Uh, it's freezing here today. It's like a, a cold 68 degrees. I have a parka on, uh, but I'm, I'm actually not going to ask you for people moving in or out of San Diego. We do that well and we can handle it. I'd like to talk to you if you have any insight on acquiring other agents' books of business, someone who's moving to Florida who's moving out of state and maybe relocating or maybe retiring. I'd love to talk with you. We're in uh, talks and negotiations with three different agents now and trying to sharpen my, uh, my sword or my pencil, uh, trying to figure out how to get these businesses acquired so we can have some explosive uh, growth in the next couple of years. So if you are that person or you have an introduction for me, I would love to make uh, that connection. Brad Seaman with the Seaman team. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Jessica in South Carolina. Hey, I am Jessica Luther. I am with Coldwell Banker in the Midlands of South Carolina. So that is Columbia and surrounding areas. Um, one of the draws here is we are about an hour and a half from the beach and an hour and a half from the mountains. Um, another thing people like to move from other areas is for Lake Murray. It's a huge recreational lake in the Irmo, Chapin and, and Lexington areas. So that has been a big draw over the last year. So something that I am looking for now is if someone happens to be moving from South Carolina to your area, of course, we all need listings right now, and I would love to help them sell their home here. More of what we are seeing is people moving here for the weather, for proximity to family, et cetera. So it's just a nice place to retire um, and, and avoid snow for the most part. So that's what I would be looking for here. Again, that's Jessica Luther, and I am in the Columbia area of South Carolina. Thank you, Jessica. Fred, you have some sound? No? Just can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Very good. I'm Fred Havasey in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been with Keller Williams for 14 years and been here in the Raleigh area since 1979. Uh, we are a huge destination location because we got jobs here in this area and we're constantly getting best place to live and best place to do business. So Google's bringing 3,000 people, Apple's bringing 1,000, and we get folks from, uh, a lot of folks from California, New York, New Jersey, and Ohio moving here. So uh, like one of the other folks on the call said, I am, I've got contacts with agents all over North Carolina. So even if you're not moving here, I could probably hook you up with a good agent wherever your clients need to move to. So. Hope you're having a great day, and I'm glad to be on this call. Thank you, Fred. Mr. Morris in Chicago. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Jeff Morris, and um, I am from Chicago. Um, with EXP Realty, I've been a BNI member for about uh, six years now, and I have a particular um, affinity for helping seniors, simply because of having to go through that for both of our two moms. Um, Chicago, of course, being um, the city of big shoulders and windy city and so forth. Um, it is a colder time, so we're probably losing more people than we're bringing in in terms of residents. But if you have uh, folks that are older, I'd be more than happy to help them and or help them retire out uh, in warmer climes by you. Thank you, Jose. 
Thank you, Mr. Morris. Mr. Mark Gold, Santa Rosa, California. Good morning, everyone. Mark Gold from Santa Rosa, California, and I'm with Century 21 Epic. I'm a founding member and 16-year member of my own VNI group, and for the first 10 years of my career was uh, coached by Brian Buffini. So I think in this group, a great referral for me would be someone looking for a second home or a vacation home in lovely wine country. We're right smack dab in the middle of all the Sonoma County wineries, 30 minutes in any direction. You could be at a world-class winery and at Michelin starred restaurants. Uh, I'm also a brand ambassador for a winery in Napa. So I'm a great tour guide when it comes to eating and drinking in Sonoma County. So if you know anyone looking for a beautiful ranch or a home or a vacation rental, give me a call and I'll be happy to show them that when they find gold, the rewards will be theirs. Thank you, Mark. Mr. Jeff Wu. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Uh, Jeff Wu, uh, Agent Knows Homes team with Keller Williams Capital Properties. Uh, BNI member for over 13 years. Uh, with the Greater McLean Business Connection. We meet Tuesday morning, 7.15 a.m. Eastern, if anybody ever wants to visit on Zoom. And uh, what we're looking for is people who are downsizing. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with people who are downsizing right now, helping them to maximize the value on their home, and then also get a great deal on condominiums. Because a lot of people don't realize condominiums are the one place where you can get a really good deal right now because people had been fleeing density. So again, Jeff Wu, helping your clients up and down the toll road from Tyson's Corner to Leesburg in Northern Virginia and other DC metro areas. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Rhonda in Colorado. Good, <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, my name is Rhonda Hepp. I work at Remax Alliance in Northern Colorado. Um, we're located about halfway between Denver and Cheyenne, but I cover um, Fort Collins, Loveland, Windsor, Timnus, um, that kind of area. We have a lot of people that are moving in. Um, so if you have someone headed this direction, it'd be my honor to help them. Um, I've been in b &I since 2011 and selling since 2007 um, and a Buffini one-to-one -one coach member. So good to see you, everybody. Thank you, Rhonda. Vicky uh, in Atlanta. Hi, everybody. I'm Vicki Severpool with uh, Keller Williams Realty in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've been um, licensed for 21 years, eight years with BNI. And um, our office is located on the Beltline. If you've heard of the Beltline in Atlanta, um, it's a hot area and we're right in the middle of it in the old Fourth Ward neighborhood. Um, so we're helping a lot of uh, investors right now for Atlanta. Um, and move up, move down buyers, pretty much, pretty much anybody. Um, and we're, this is kind of fun. We're currently working with a, a fellow BNI member out of California. So we're pretty excited to be helping, helping him. Uh, thanks again, Vicki Severcool, Severcool Real Estate, Keller Williams. Thank you so much, uh, Vicki. Matt Harnick. Good day, everybody. Um, here in Philly Metro, Matt Harnick uh, with the Harnick team at Keller Williams Real Estate. Uh, I've been a member of BNI for just about 11 years, past president. Uh, we serve the Philly Metro area, including the city itself and the four outer counties. Um, some of our specialties uh, include investment. Um, personally, I'm a 25-year investor. Um, I'm also a certified luxury agent, so certainly for those of you who have luxury clients coming in, we'd love to help them. Um, and also short sales, which kind of <laughs> encompass, you know, a lot, but um, we do have a full-time negotiator as well. So uh, please do not be afraid to send us your short sale referrals as well. A um, couple notes about us. Um, I'm one of the top 100 in the greater PA region for Keller Williams. And also I'm the top referral passer in our BNI region. Um, so we would love to help you. If you have any people coming in, in and out of state, we'd love to help them either way. Um, Philadelphia is definitely a great market for investment. So um, we would love to help them there, especially with some of the feeder markets like New York, New Jersey, DC, some of the higher priced local East Coast areas for sure. Um, and uh, just want to continue to make uh, great connections around the country. Happy to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Matt. Sorry in Tampa Bay. 
Good afternoon. Um, I'm Sarah DeMonico from Tampa Bay area, and I'm focusing very much this year on empty nesters. People who have that home, they're getting a little bit older, and I, I fall into this category. You used to have to start thinking about things like master bedrooms downstairs, or maybe you want to downsize a little bit and be in a really cool, walkable community. So if you have somebody in your state that's selling their home and moving to Florida to avoid the income tax because we don't have any, or you know somebody in Florida that is looking to sell their home and move into a walkable community, a sailing community, a retirement community. I've become very, very well, well versed in all of those. So please send them my way. Thanks. Thank you so much, Sarah. Robin is Scott Dale. Yes, good morning, all BNI members from across the country. I'm Robin Victor. I'm with Remax Excalibur. I have been a realtor in the Valley for 26 years with uh, Remax for 20 years. And with BNI for 16 years, I am a founding member. I think one of the most important things in our marketplace is the fact that we only have currently at this minute 8,165 homes available for sale for a population of 5 million. So the demand is very, very strong. We represent a lot of buyers and we have a great strategy for getting their offers accepted. A great referral for me would be somebody that wants to sell because, of course, I would love to have another listing. We have an excellent market. We have a lot of reasons for people to move here. The job market is very strong. We have excellent medical available. It's a great place to retire or have a second home or anything like that that you want to do. I have an outgoing referral to a BNI member in Mississippi that's doing very, very well with it. And just in closing, uh, our team is in the top 2% of real estate agents here in the Valley. Thank you, Robin. Brad Goldstein in Memphis. Um, hi, I'm with the uh, Crowlock Realtors, and I've been in real estate now for 38 years uh, in BNI for 20 years and wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I work the Memphis metropolitan area, which includes North Mississippi. I'm licensed in both states. So if you have any referrals coming to the Memphis area, or the North Mississippi area, which is Olive Branch and South Haven, Hernando primarily. Um, I can help all of those people. Um, we have St. Jude's here in Memphis. And if you know of anyone uh, transferring into St. Jude, they have a, a large number of not only doctors, but research physicians um, and many other staff positions that are continually coming in. I'd love to have some of those referrals. Um, we also have an affordable market here, or I guess what would be considered affordable, not as much as it used to be, but uh, you can still buy a nice home for under 200,000, which I know you can't in a lot of other areas right now. So if you have people wanting to move to a more affordable city, Memphis might be a good one. And I'd love to help those people too. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Uh, Charles Olson, and again, um, if you guys have not gone yet, please raise your digital hand. Go, Charles. Hi, uh, good day, everybody. My name is Charles Olson from Keller Williams Realty Empire in Brooklyn, New York. I also cover uh, Queens and Staten Island. Um, you know, New York City, Brooklyn in particular, has a lot of various property types. We could have a $150,000 uh, uh, co-op to multi, many multi-million dollar property homes. The, the, the variety of inventory is very unique. And what I feel is unique about me is my ability to deal with all the different property types and all the intricacies that come with them. Because it just seems like every day today, everything is a problem with getting it closed. Whether it's getting a waiver right of refusal for a co-op to violations of the Department of Building issues um, on multifamily homes. So if you know of anybody looking to buy a home, sell a home, and actually want to get the deal done, please think of me, Charles Olson, fellow Williams Real Camp Buyer here in Brooklyn, New York. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. I think Bruce was having a problem uh, raising his hand. So go ahead, Bruce. Hi, I'm Bruce Rayburn with Eddie Holiday Realtors. We are an affiliate of uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, cover most of North Texas, uh, based in Plano, Texas, home to the national headquarters of Toyota and more and more companies every day. Thank you, California. We really appreciate everything you're sending us. And uh, the growth is phenomenal. Biggest challenge we have is inventory, just like many of you. And we are taking a little bit different stance at Abbey Holiday. We are not 
going to be discounting our buyer agents uh, brokerage percentage, trying to help separate us from the discount brokers that are out there. Uh, we feel that uh, I've been in the business for 19 years, been in the business uh, with BNI for a little over seven, past president. Excited about the amount of growth that we're seeing and hope to see it even more. Bruce Rayburn with Debbie Holiday Realtors in Plano, Texas. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, Julian Hill, Charleston. Hi, everybody. It's Julian Hill here with Caldwell Banker um, here in Charleston, South Carolina with uh, beautiful beaches, historic city, and uh, all around an easy place to live. Um, I've been in the business here for about 10 years with BNI, going on two years. Um, our business lately, um, like, like a lot of people the last few years, we've had a huge influx of folks from uh, the bigger metropolitan areas. Our beaches have exploded, um, and uh, a lot of the historic properties have too. But Charleston's a great market. We've got a lot of big uh, corporations, Boeing, Volvo, Mercedes, Google, a lot of these big players are coming in and Charleston is just growing uh, exponentially every day. So if you've got any buyers coming to, to live or second, second, uh, second home buyers, vacation buyers, we'd love to help them. Uh, Julian Hill with Caldwell Banker. Thank you so much, Julian. Ms. Tiffany Kellogg, will you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tiffany Kellogg, and I'm not a realtor, uh, though I am good with those referrals. And so I'm excited to be here. Brad invited me to come today to talk about how we can get some more referrals. Awesome. And I'm, I'm with Sarah down here in sunny Tampa, Florida. Awesome. So if I haven't missed anybody else, this is the last chance to scream, say something. In the meantime, my name is Jose Fernandez. I'm down in Miami, Keller Williams Realty. So we are ready to welcome international clients, especially from South America and Europe. Uh, as of next week, fully vaccinated uh, people can come back into the country. And uh, I, I have two clients from Germany that are coming. Uh, so if you know anybody internationally that's looking to buy a piece of uh, property in South Florida, I'll be happy to help them. Have I missed? Have I missed anyone? Um, Jose, you didn't miss me, but I forgot to mention that I, there's a really good possibility I'm gonna need a referral on a listing in Riverside, California. Um, so if the, anybody's here from that area, just contact me. Okay, and we're, gonna have a we're gonna have a chance at the end to pass some referrals. So I'll <laughs> send it back to the president, Mr. Brad Seaman. I've got you, Pat. We'll talk a little bit later, okay? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thanks for uh, showing up and sharing where you're from. Um, obviously, we're all here for a reason to pass some referrals. And this is my opportunity to introduce you to Tef Tiffany Kellogg. She had a brief moment to introduce herself. Um, but Tiffany, Tiffany was introduced to me by Sarah here from Tampa Bay, who's been showing up to our meetings. Um, and it was instantly a great connection. So Tiffany is um, a referral generator. She has a great background of working with uh, Dr. Ivan Meisner, as well as writing a few books. And she seems to have something with socks. And I wanna learn more about that at some point. Um, but socks to success, being memorable and branding to generate more referrals she's written. Um, knock the socks off your audience, delivering presentations with power and passion to audiences large and small. Um, so, Tiffany, if you would, why don't you take it away? You're going to do our education moment for two breakout sessions and share with us how, I think we're going to start with how do we uh, find the right BNI partners? Is that right? Yeah. So, I think oh, it's. No, I, I said that after I just had a missed call from you. So, yeah. I think uh, we need to mute Charles, if we can, please. Uh, no worries. Okay. I just got to look I got you. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So it is so important for us to be able to generate referrals. And I'm curious, how big is your chapter? I know I heard somebody saying my chapter used to be 100. Can you put in the chat box how many members you have in your chapter uh, and just out of a, give us an idea? And I think it's powerful for us. And I know most chapters love to have the realtors. They're like, realtors feed me. Um, but not everybody in the chapter always can pass us as many referrals. And so whether we're in the chapter of 14 or 18, um, 40 like Jeff, um, 35 like Brad, um, 
Jen, like James, I, I think that it's not everybody in the chapter that we want to be focused on. It's a handful of the right people. And you've probably heard the term contact sphere relationships before. Uh, contact sphere relationships are those non-competing industries with the exact same target market. They're kind of the, the foundation for creating your power teams. And I think it's really important for us to kind of pick who are the, the right kind of people within our chapter. So Sarah is one of my clients here in the Tampa market. And I know she loves working with those people, the empty nesters, the people that are, are looking for, for the downsizing, uh, looking for, and it's, it's weird, Florida, we're such a weird place, but you know, it's like, yes, you've got to have the primary bedroom on that, that bottom floor. And so you've got that specialty. And so for, for her, when she's looking for her referral sources, it might be different uh, how, any anybody in here? Your your focus is more the first time home buyers. So okay, I got a couple first time home buyers, and so probably the first time home buyers is going to be a very different feel uh, than we have for the empty nesters. Major different things, and so your referral sources will be different. So if you think about, about who's your favorite kind of client, you know who else is selling to that group? If it's people with the expanding families. Uh, maybe it's you make friends with the OBGYN and the doula and the, you know, party people that are planning the, you know, the really cool um, baby showers. I don't have kids, so that's not really my realm, um, you know, but what's your specialty? In Ocala, which is an area near me, it's all about the horses. And so one of my clients that's a, a realtor, you know, she's looking for the people that have the horses all across the world that want to come to Ocala um, something about the, the water and the soil makes it really amazing for horses. And so I think about, you know, who's your ideal client and then who's in the people in the chapter that are selling to them. I think everybody's after the, the banker and the, the people that are common, but can we get some people, maybe even from outside of the chapter, that we can bring into the chapter that would refer and so if you think about it, who are some of your best referral sources, professions? Uh, what are some of the professions that you find refer you well? Because sometimes, you know, one of the things maybe we can be sharing with each other is, oh, my gosh, uh, who would have thought the, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker would be an amazing referral source for me? And if I have a similar market that I'm going after, like you do in your area, maybe I can find somebody. Uh, so Sarah, Sarah shares the financial advisor is a good referral source for her. Who else is selling to your ideal client? To me, this is the opportunity for us to ask for an amazing referral source. And so I, I know we've got kind of our, our typical that we've got going on, but then sometimes it can be a little different, like the pastors, you know, that gets us a little bit off the, the normal side of it. Uh, Matt's got the hairdressers, the architects can be really great. So hopefully you'll be able to look in the chat and say, here are some good professions. Could these be good for me? And I think that as we do this within our chapters, I think we also can do that here on the national level. Because, uh, I, you know, when I was talking to Brad, he's like, yeah, there's probably not a lot of people moving from Tampa to San Diego. Uh, there is not as much synergy there, though, for some of you, you may be in markets that do have a tendency. Uh, perhaps it's because they have uh, you know, y'all shared several different companies where they're moving uh, the transition Disney's having from California down to the outside of Orlando area, things like that going on. And so maybe you want to kind of create those strategic relationships here inside of the group that naturally flow to each other. Uh, so I'm loving it. We've got lots of uh, people putting stuff in there. Though Matt says he doesn't have hair, LOL. You can have a hairdresser without having hair. I mean, if, if, it, if it works out, it works out. Um, the chiropractor, the, I, I love the acupuncture guy. And that makes my life so great is when we can find some people that not, not everybody's knocking on the door because there's a lot of people knocking on the mortgage people's door saying, hey, when somebody comes to you get free proof, send them to me. But there's probably not a lot of realtors knocking on the door of the acupuncturist. And so we want to get to identify these people. Then we're going to have to get to get them a little bit educated. So one of my e Tiffany's, so that's your epiphany from Tiffany. So those are my kind of quotables because I'm silly like that, is the more your network knows, the more your business grows. And so there's kind of two ways that I interpret that. The first is 
the more your referral sources know about how to play this game of referrals, the easier it is for them to give you referrals. Would, would you agree? I mean, think about it. Some of you are, are like long, long standing, you know, BNI members. You've been here for a while. How many of you realize that when you network with people in BNI, they get it better when you network with the people from Rotary or the chain? Would you BNI members are just better networkers, aren't they? Because, and especially those of you that have been around 16, 20 years, there's a lot more educational opportunities than there was 20 years ago. Uh, I think 20 years ago, you probably had two books and a CD. That was your, your education that was offered. So there's so much information. And so you want to make sure they get the information. And I always find that when the people that pass me referrals are in my chapter, it makes it easier because I'm seeing more, them more often. The other way I like to take a look at the more your network knows, the more your business grows is then we have to teach our network about our business. Who is the ideal client? How do we get them to set up the appointment? How, you know, why do we do what we do? What sets me apart from the uh, however many other realtors, which there are plenty in your area. And so we have to take the time not only to let the referral sources get to know us, we also have to get to know about them. So we've got a great room here with 30 people in it, but we're gonna have to spend a little bit of time getting to know each other to be able to create those powerful referral relationships. And sometimes it's about, you know, let's talk business, but sometimes it's about the, the fun stuff. I love on the GAINS profile, the I, which stands for interest, because it gives me an opportunity to find out what other people are interested in. And so we're gonna play a little game. Brad, are you handling setting up some um, breakout rooms for us? Jose's got you covered. Jose. Can we can we get some breakout rooms set up? Yep. How many people have, you want? How many huh? people? You, how many people you want per room? Uh, four to five people per room. Okay. So what we're going to do? This is a little exercise called the magic eight ball, and so we're going to shake it up and see what you get. You have two minutes in this breakout, and then we're going to come back together. So two minutes in this breakout, we're going to come back together, and your goal is you have to come up with one thing that you have in common with the other people in the room. Now, let me go ahead and get some of the ones out of the, the way. B&I, yeah, got it. Real estate, yeah, got it. Um, like the goal isn't, oh, yeah, I have skin, I drive a car. Like the goal is we wanna find out a little bit about each other. We wanna see what's one thing that we all have in common. So let's not go for, you know, I'm all using a virtual background. We're all wearing glasses. We all have hair, we don't have hair. Like if we can dig a little deeper, that would be awesome. You've got two minutes to come up with one thing that you have in common with the other people in the room. Any questions? All right, it looks like it is time to go to your room. Two minutes on the clock. All right, so back everybody. I would love to have you put in the chat box, what is it that your group had in common? And while you're putting that in the chat box, I'd love to hear from one or two of you, how was that exercise? I'll go. Go ahead. That's great. Um, we were able to very quickly figure out what we all had in common. Um, we still had over a minute left um, when we figured it out. And what we all did was um, we've all seen the Mona Lisa in Paris. Huh? Wow. There you go. Yeah. So that. You know, I have never gotten that as an answer. Yeah. Um, I don't remember who it is. Um, someone said, do you like art? And so I came up with what's the most famous piece of art people have seen. <laughs> and Mona Lisa was the number one answer. And so There you go. Cool. It didn't take us very long. Awesome. One other person. That's How was that exercise minute. for you? I'll go. This is Julian. <laughs> I, I mean, I thought it was neat to, uh, we quickly connected. You know, it was like we all found a common bond and sort of developed a, 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 a friendship connection real quick with those items. Awesome. So I think a lot of times that we can utilize our interests to develop these stronger relationships. I find that my best referral sources, typically there's something in common uh, that we like to do or we enjoy. And so this is a way that we can help pick those right referral sources, though it's still important that they have the, the same clientele as you. So if I'm looking for who is my ideal referral source inside my chapter, then I might actually have conversations, whether it's you know pre-meeting, post-meeting, on the phone, or maybe even in a one-to-one -one and ask, you know, who are your ideal clients? And I know not everybody is uh, awesome at articulating their ideal clients. I know y'all are, uh, but not everybody else is. And so if they're, they're just like, well, I can work with anybody. 
what you could say is, well, tell me about your last five clients. Tell me about your last 10 clients. Because what that will do is give you an idea of, are they dealing with my ideal client or not? Because to me, we want to invest in the relationships that have the largest potential for our return. And then when I go to networking events outside of the chapter, if I'm searching for BNI members, that works. Um, sometimes I can develop those relationships with people outside of BNI. What I love about BNI is it gives you the opportunity to see them every week for a purpose. So it helps the, the process of know, like, and trust go quicker. But you can have these same relationships with people outside of BNI. And so I will also ask, you know, who is your ideal client? And, you know, you will figure out based on your ideal client who who's, you know, selling to them. And if you're like, I know who my ideal client is, but I'm not sure who's selling to them. Go to your ideal client and say, hey, who else is, you know, sending you stuff all the time? Where are you purchasing things? And find out, are they all into acupuncture? Find out if they're all into CrossFit. Find out, you know, what it is that they have in common. And it can make it really powerful because then those will be the referral sources that A, you enjoy spending time with and B, they're going to pass you to the best referral. So I'm sure you've gotten referred to a person or two uh, that you ended up wishing you never got referred to. Yeah, we, we've kind of had those people. Uh, so we want to focus on the right people that can pass us to the, the right referrals. And one of the things that we're going to have to do is motivate our referral sources. But I think we're going to talk about motivation after we go to the breakout, if that's right, Brad. Yep. So here's my epiphany from Tiffany. I love that, by the way, Tiffany. Thank you. Walking away from that short exercise, we had to be quick, right? It fits the time allowed. We've got two minutes to come up with something as fast as we can. If we develop that a little bit and go into a new breakout room and find out what we all have in common, a couple of things that I saw in the chat were, number one, everyone in the room was a Buffini coach, coach client, right? That's a pretty cool thing in common. What about uh, you know where they've been or like where they like to travel? Let's even talk about the details. Like my personal, I didn't get to go into a breakout room, but my personal passion is helping people fix up their homes or flipping houses, right? Let's go a step deeper with the other people that are right here in the room and see if we can create relationships and find out things that are in common amongst us. Okay, so let's take it one step deeper. And then the actionable item coming out of your breakout room is find someone that's in that breakout and schedule a one-to-one. -one. Okay, find their information, trade info, and your action item for this month or this week, or however you wanna take it, is take one of those people and set up a one-to-one. -one. So number one, let's find out more about each person in your small breakout room so you can find out what's the common ground. Number two, set up a one-to-one -one before you leave the breakout room so you're ready to go for this week. All right, Jose, you're on the spot. Let's break them out. Yeah, so what? how is that sharing with a handful of folks? Kind of what all do we have in common? What did you take? Not necessarily what did you take away as far as, you know, Mary likes this, Susie likes that. But how was the experience and how is that applicable to creating, you know, more success within your BNI chapter? I'll go. Okay. Uh, so our group, we all came to the realization after we were spouting off stuff that we didn't really have in common. We were all in military cities. And so all five of us are going to connect uh, and do one-to-ones because all of us have clients who need to buy and sell every three years, literally. So it's a, it was a great breakout room and uh, I can't wait to do one-to-ones with all of them. Oh, that's awesome. So definitely worth the price of paid admission today, right? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Brad, just send me, uh, send me the bill, Brad. <laughs> Tiffany, it's uh, Bruce Rayburn from Texas. Hi, Bruce. And what we're seeing is that we're all working with investors to some extent because many of the homes that they want to go on the market need quite a bit of work. So consequently, we're working with uh, other contractors, subcontractors to get the homes ready. And that's pretty probably consistent with a lot. In other words, we're working harder for less. <laughs> well, it's inter interesting. Um, you know, we talk a lot in BNI about your referral network, but I like to think of your network as your IRS, but this is the good IRS. And that's the information referral and support network. And so it sounds like, you know, if you're all doing working with the investors, there's probably some information that can be passed back and forth, as well as some support when all that stuff that can go wrong inevitably goes wrong. Cool. 
Who else? What was your experience in, in doing I, this? I got one. Yes. You know, I thought in both exercises, but the second a little more, as you delve to find common ground, uh, eventually you reach common ground, but then you know a whole bunch of stuff about everyone in there that already I'm starting to say, oh, well, if someone asked me for a realtor there, I could say this about that person or this about that person, which is the best tool for me in referrals is to say something important about the person to hook the person you're trying to get a referral from. Yes, love it, love it, love it. So I appreciate you guys kind of playing around with this exercise. I think that the, you know, um, what's the quote? The more, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so when we begin to see who you are, we learn more about who you are and, and what you're into, it gives us the opportunity to be able to create some really powerful relationships when we have those things in common. And so I think, you know, this is a really cool thing for us to continue to get to know each other. And one thing I've done in some of my Facebook groups, uh, and it depends on how video savvy you are. Uh, one of my groups were a video group. So we all like had recorded just a live, like two or three minutes, like, hey, here's me. Here's about myself. Uh, other <laughs> Facebook groups I'm a part of. Yeah, they're not like they're totally afraid of the camera. I'm like, we live in 2021. I mean, Zoom, y'all aren't you on camera all the day, but whatever. Um, so for them, we just type and we like post pictures of us doing things we like or use GIFs of what we like to do. So this could even be a fun little Facebook activity that people are able to say, here's what I like um, and see who all has that in common. And so as we get to know each other, I think that's a half of the coin or one side of the coin. The other side of the coin to me is if we want to create strong referral relationships with people in our chapter, outside of our chapter and in this group, we need to motivate them. We need to motivate them. And yes, I know referrals. That is an awesome motivator. And we, we have to work for them. And sometimes we get them, but sometimes we don't. So I think there's other things that we can do to help motivate the people in our network to inspire them. I mean, are, are any of you ever on social media? No, never. Uh, so for the majority of you that are, because that's the place to go, um, could we all connect with each other on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram or Twitter, or anybody here TikToking? Nobody? Yeah, I've, I, I have, I'm on TikTok. I follow one person. Um, that's, uh, and I did one video. So we'll see if I get in more there. Um, but I don't know, maybe you could be the TikTok realtor, especially if your target market's those millennials, the ones that buy houses, not the ones that stay and live with their parents for forever. Um, but so could we be motivating each other? So could we, you know, maybe inside our Facebook group, we have a post that we put up here. Everybody lists their Facebook page so we can go like it. Here's another post. Everybody put your, you know, personal account so we can go be friends with you. Here's the LinkedIn. Let's all go like each other and then comment. Comments are way better than likes, y'all. The way the Facebook fairies, I mean, the algorithms work is they like the comments way better than the likes. So be interactive, work with people. Another way, so I talked about video a minute ago. How many of you use video? You actually get on the, the screen and use video. Okay, so for like the four of you, um, <laughs> do it. A, more of you should do it because it's a, a great way to have people see you as the expert. But could you shoot a video? Let's say you're at one of the houses in your area and you have one of the contractors in the chapter come out to help fix something up, assuming permission from the owner. But could you do like a video, a live right then and there with the contractor? Like, hey, we're here selling this house. We're expecting you to get more because of this. Now, we've got some very interesting places here. Um, you know, we, we talked about the, the military town. So what if one or two of you or a couple of you would, did uh, a live or a Zoom and recorded it and posted it? Uh, you could restream it. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let, let me know later and I can fill you in. Uh, I think the people that know know what I'm saying when it comes to the videos of it. And so if it's Greek for you, um, you're probably not doing as much of the video and I can share resources afterwards. But could we shoot a fun video of like, okay, here's the differences. I'm like looking, oh, so Orlando, I'm next to Orlando because Sam's next to me. Uh, Orlando and Tampa are very close to each other and very different. 
And so maybe we could talk about the difference between Tampa and Orlando. Or, you know, if you're thinking about moving to the central part of the state, here's, you know, the top four reasons to move to Tampa and the top four reasons to, to move to Orlando. And then that's something that could be picked up and people will see it, have some fun with it. Or maybe it's we're, we're going coast to coast. So we want to go from, you know, Florida to California. So maybe uh, Sarah and Brad jump on and talk about, you know, Florida versus California. I mean, could we do some videos like that and post them on social media and have some fun with it? You're like, yeah. no, not really. Tiffany, don't like that idea. <laughs> um, if we've actually had the opportunity to give a referral to somebody in this group, could we give them a testimonial? Hey, thank you so much, Vicki, for taking amazing care of so-and-so that into you. They raved and raved about how awesome you were. I so those are a couple. What, Sarah? I think that's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to me, it's a testimonial. It's a review. It's a recommendation. And you're not saying, hey, I used them. You're saying, hey, I was a realtor. I referred them, and they rocked it. And people don't always read all those LinkedIn testimonials or all those Google reviews. But if they see that you've got lots and you're five star, that definitely helps. So those are a couple that I have. What I'm going to do in just a moment is turn it over to Brad to give us one or two more. And then we're in the breakout room. What I want you to do is brainstorm. And this could be either you're brainstorming. What are things that you could do to help motivate the people in your chapter? What are actionable things that you can do that would help them grow their business? Uh, it could also be, what can we do to help each other out? Uh, how can we help support each other? Oh, and my, the IRF, IRS, again, Jeff, was the information, the referral, and the support network. So there are times that we could maybe support each other. While it's not a referral, it helps motivate. Uh, in each group, I would ask if you can have a scribe that takes note of all of your ideas. Don't do it in the chat box because the chat box will disappear and you'll lose all your notes. Um, however, to have a scribe in each group take notes so that when we come back, all the scribes can dump them into the chat box and we can come up with a massive list of ideas on how we can motivate our fellow chapter members as well as the people here in the group. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Brad. Awesome, Tiffany. I have another epiphany from Tiffany. I'm ready. All right. What we got? I love how you tied motivation to an actionable item that we can support others by giving as opposed to receiving. Yes. So by giving them a leg up and a referral, by trying to schedule or setting up a video amongst members across the country, whether it be military or, or respective towns that are great referral uh, re reciprocity, you're, you're tying motivation to supporting others. So for our breakout rooms, I love the word motivation, but let's brainstorm two things. Number one is brainstorm items for your chapter members and how you can motivate them or do specific things to help their business grow. And they'll, they'll be reminded of, of your role within the chapter. Number two, do the same thing for the members right here in this room. What can you do networking wise to motivate them? And let me give you an example there. One thing that you can do is you can support someone else's YouTube channel, right? I'll pop my YouTube, which is all BNI and networking content in the chat later. The other thing is, is on these larger Facebook groups or even in the BNI Facebook group, how can you take the relationships you've made or help others to attract referrals on bigger sized networking groups. So for those of you that don't spend a lot of time on Facebook, that's okay. There are some massive networking groups out there that are Keller Williams or Compass or Berkshire Hathaway, where you can pass referrals across the country. Maybe Jose's got something in Miami and I can help support him by sharing my experience with Jose in the past and how we can give him a referral. So those are a couple of different examples to get you started. So number one, how can you motivate and support those that are in your chapter? And number two, how can you do it for agents across the country? You want to get a great list going and share our ahas afterwards. So Jose, if you would uh, put it out there. So I would love to, whomever was a uh, scribe, put in the chat box your massive list of ideas that you have on how we can help support each other. And I'd love to hear from one or two of you, maybe somebody that hasn't shared yet today, 
what was one of your favorite ideas that y'all came up with in the group um, to help support each other? I'll go. Okay. I'll show you an idea. Um, so Dan, we actually came from Dan Edwards. He was talking about how he uses, um, he uses video content, uh, a software called StreamYard, so he can uh, live stream uh, on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And he does it, he interviews um, people from his chapter. So like referral partners, things like that, to give them a shout out could be, and then he said he would do that for agents as well um, to build it. I just thought that was a brilliant idea to expand your network because then the person you're interviewing, they share it and then it's a link back to yours and it's just like a really good synergy with a good partnership. So I thought that was a brilliant idea for, for video content. Love it. What is he Love using, it. did you say? It's in the chat, said- StreamYard. It's in the chat already. Uh, okay. StreamYard, and uh, I'm a big friend of, fan of Restream. They both have their advantages. Um, Robin, what you got for us? All right, I'm a ghost today. I'm sorry, I can't get my video to work, but um, I am working with a newer agent. I've been selling real estate for 36 years, so I'm kind of a veteran, but uh, we put together, uh, he brought a a buyer for one of my listings. We put the contract together and he said, you know, afterwards he would like to take me to coffee, you know, and pick my brain a little bit. So um, in return, I I said, well, actually I have... um, Uh, an offer for you. I'd love for you to um, get together with me and some other business people that I meet with weekly um, at our BNI group. Um, So I've invited him to come to BNI so that he as a newer agent can uh, get those contacts, um, good contacts that are reliable people uh, as our, you know, our BNI members are. And then it will help him to grow and to become a, a good realtor also. So I, hopefully that will work out for many of our, our members and, and boost their business along with his. Can I share with you how much I love this idea? The idea of bringing a newer agent who doesn't have the contacts that you can share your entire group with, you're not threatened by another realtor visitor coming to your chapter and they walk with away with a list of referrals of all your best people that you know they're going to send their referrals to you, but you've just added value to every single member in your BNI chapter. How cool is that? Brad, can I, can I, can I piggyback, piggyback on that? Um, we actually doing that in three weeks in our chapter. Both the commercial realtor and the residential realtor agree. So we have our presentation. So we're going to use the 20 minutes of that presentation to have our operating principal talk about the DISC profile, and everyone gets to uh, invite all the realtors that they want. So one is not costing us anything because it's via Zoom, that meeting. And two, it's a win-win for all of our members because now realtors get a new set of groups of vendors. And so it's backwards. So I mean, it's a back and forth. So I think everyone should consider doing that. If they have two realtors in the group, I uh, just ask the time when they're presenting, use the 20 minutes and bring a speaker that is highly respected in your area. Uh, so our operating principal, like a lot of people know her. So, and just invite all the realtors. Love it. Absolutely love it. So we've got lots of great ideas. Um, keep putting them in the, the chat box uh, if you haven't yet. Uh, before I, I turn it back over to Brad, two quick things. Number one, can you smile so I can take a picture of your pretty face? Cheese. All right, and the second thing, how I like to end the presentations, I'd love for you to put in the chat box, what were your e Tiffany's? What's your top takeaway? What's one thing that you're gonna do to help you create even more success for yourself? Uh, thank you so very much for the opportunity to be here today. Turn awesome. it back over to you, Brad. Everybody give Tiffany a great round of applause. She was fantastic, wasn't she? Love the guided conversation. I thought it was amazing and some new things for us to think about. Tiffany also has a five- uh, day referral challenge that she has coming up. It's free of charge, and she's going to pop that in the chat for us. So if you're interested in learning more from Tiffany, um, she's got that all set up, and uh, you can get more by signing up for her new challenge coming up. Um, I've got a couple of special announcements, if it's okay with you. Um, our next meeting, we're doing some planning, and our next meeting is going to be November 18th. So I'm going to pop that in the chat for you right now. It is the correct Zoom link. 
for the correct day this time. Thank you guys for reminding me last time that we had a mix up, um, but we have a new link for the upcoming meeting. And then if you wanna also save your date, December 16th, we're gonna do one for our December meeting. Um, I did shift our time just a little bit on the, the 18th and Jose and I will verify that uh, as a final, but uh, probably starting at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, two, wait, what would that be? 10 a.m. Pacific, one o'clock Eastern. Okay. Um, any referrals or thank you for closed business testimonials real quick before we go, because I want to get you out of here on time. Yes, Rhonda. I can jump in. I have a buyer that is wants to look in the Pensacola area. Is anyone here work that, that area? By chance? No. Okay. I'll, I'll find one. <laughs> I'll see what I can do to help you out there too, Rhonda. Thanks. Um, Brad, if you can just get in touch with me, I can tell you about the Riverside. It's, it's a potential. It's not definite, but All this right. guy's thinking about selling. I need to get some more information on location, et cetera. We'll talk afterwards. Jamie. Hey, Rick, I got to go, but I <clears throat> uh, just great shout out to the group. Uh, was able to send a referral out to Kentucky for um, a huge family that uh, four brothers that are moving to Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. Um, great care has got them all connected, buying a huge plot of land, four different builds. It's going to be awesome. And then I received a referral last week from this group already. Uh, so phenomenal. Plus, Brad and I have been connecting. I've done multiple one-to-ones. And um, I have asked for, I think, was it like three referrals last week, Brad? I yeah, know we had, quite a few, Jamie, good job. Yeah, we've got a ton going out. So thank you everybody, I gotta go, I got a 12.30. So see everybody. All right, any others, uh, referrals? Thank you for closed business testimonial. Hey, a quick testimonial. I'll shout out to uh, Brad. If you can't tell, Brad is all about giving. You know, my wife and I are kind of looking to maybe retire, well, at least me retire and relocate down to San Diego. And uh, we wanted to start seeing what was available there, connected up with Brad and his team. And they are just fantastic. The tools they have, the knowledge they have, you know, it's just great. And uh, not only is Brad helping me uh, uh, potentially find a home to relocate to, he asked me what I was going to do. And I said, well, I'm not sure. He goes, well, if you're going to stay in real estate, come to work for us. So not only can he help me buy a home, he wants to hire me. So, you know, I just want to give you a great shout out to you and your team, Brad. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. And you guys are a delight to work with as well. Thank you. I'd like to thank Tiffany for coming today. And I would encourage you guys. She does this thing called Ascent of Coaching. It's like a 10-week program. And it has really helped me hone in on the market that I'm going after. And as a result of that, the average contract price that I'm getting is starting to go up because I'm honing my market. So I would really encourage you guys to reach out and do a one-to-one -one with her. She's also a BNI member, so you'll get credit for that. And I think she can help you guys all grow your business. Wonderful. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Uh, we got our special announcements out of the way. And uh, thank you all for coming. I thought this was a very productive and a, a wonderful opportunity for us to get to know each other and go deep. And Tiffany was great as our speaker. Um, something that resonated with me after Tiffany spoke was uh, a quote that I heard this week. It's from a bold program, uh, which is a Keller Williams sales program. And if you know Cody Gibson, uh, who is the director of expansion for the company, he has some interesting gems. I've taken bold with him five times now. And uh, the one that came out for me was no one is going to do the push-ups for you. So I think this week was uh, an exercise that we need to schedule those one-to-ones. We've got to do the work if you want to get the business. And you're hearing testimonials already from people that are going out, doing the one-to-ones and receiving and giving business. Keep it up, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Jose in Miami, for helping us out each month, uh, month in and month out. We really appreciate you. And uh, looking forward to the next one.